She's been great and I was very pleased with that run. She'd had a lot of time off beforehand and she will have come on for that. And she just traveled with the revs a bit high. That was over seven furlongs. Obviously the Mill Reef were going back to six. Local track. I think she's a pretty good filly and I think she'd have a good chance. If it is soft, I think she'll like it. And she's also coming back a furlong to, to six furlongs from the seven, the last day, which is a very good race. And they're a long way clear of the third. And I think, you know, Newbury is one of the best tracks in the world. It's flat, it, you know, it's fair and the best horse normally wins. And I think that will suit her big time. She's always, she has always shown us an awful lot of ability um, since probably April time. And we gave her one run in a very hot maiden at Doncaster. Wanted to go to Ascot, that didn't happen. So we gave her a complete break and brought her back sort of two weeks ago. And the timing wise for the Mill Reef at Newbury, you know, fits in perfectly. If it's Newbury races, we take as many nice horses there as we can and divide duty free. You know, sponsor a lot of the, lot of the nicer races and we'll be taking a few nice ones there for Maidens, a horse called The Line and, you know, some for the handicaps. Should have been a ring, might go. Chindit won't go there this week. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, we love taking horses. There's the Haynes, Hanson, Clark as well, conditions race. We've got a couple of nice horses there going there. One called Blue Lemons that won first time out the other day and might send a couple of others.